so good you. to see you. Hello. Hey. Hey, everybody. So I am here with Tamara Casey, and I am taking over her YouTube channel because Tamara's here. Why are you here, Tamara? That's it. Rachel, I came all the way to Colorado just to be here and to actually check out this turn of the century antiques to see it is if it was quite the doll shop that we've all seen on the internet. And I've got to say, I've got a report for you. Well, I'm very excited for this video because we're filming it right now. We really don't have a plan, but we know it's going to be a party. That's it. Come right. on along. Come on in, everybody. <laughs> excited to be on Tamara's channel. This is super fun. I've been encouraging her to do some content. So we're right now we're doing a lot of different things, but, but this room does stay perpetually Christmas all the time, which is what I love about it. So come on in, come on in. We have been kind of rearranging a little bit, but we did set up some dolls and some, when I say we, Christopher, he's been doing a great job, but um, give a peek to your, give a peek to your viewers. Come on in and, and take, take a closer look. Come and meander. Um, if you're new here, our shop has been here for 40 plus years and we just love all kinds of dolls and we do doll stuff all the time. And it is so much fun. We love having, we love having people come and visit especially virtually. What about these uh, Christmas trees, Rachel? I noticed that these are up all the time. I see them in the back of your videos and they are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Well, my mother, of course, loved Christmas. So we have a Christmas theme happening all the time, but in her house, she had six Christmas trees, six full-size Christmas trees all the time. So it's an homage to mom. We, we keep two of them up all the time. This one was given to us by our friend, Billy Harris. And then the other one that we have over here, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but we'll move this real quick, is an antique feather tree, which oh. is just one of our absolute favorite pieces in the shop. It is uh, just so much fun. It's full of all kinds of wonderful antique um, ornaments. And this right here is my was my childhood crib. It is not really safe for babies, which is why our Holland Diane does not use it but it is full of treasures and it is it is so much fun. It's a Victorian crib. So we have a lot of fun here and uh, we have more displayed that is that is just for fun, just to look at than we actually have that's for sale, but uh, it creates a, a more of a museum-like experience and I want it to feel very, very homey. So that's what we try and do. You absolutely did it. And now maybe we can see some of the modern dolls that you yeah. have in your collection. Let's go. All right, okay. everybody. So now I'm on the other side of the camera. <laughs> Tamara's in the front. Um, wh what is going on here? First of all, I have to tell you guys, because this is amazing, Rachel is incredible, as I'm sure you guys know, but I got to meet, in this exact location yesterday, Christopher. Yes, he is my soulmate in Colorado, for sure, and I'm gonna put a few pictures up so you can see us together. He didn't mind that I took a selfie with him yesterday. He's in the process right now of recreating all these beautiful displays in preparation for none other than Tonner Fest! Oh my gosh, 2023. You guys aren't going to believe it. It could oh get better and it's going to. You're fun. You're, I like your channel. This is fun. So your obviously, camera's real good. What's going on over here? What do we have going on, Rachel? So we have everybody. This is everybody. This is, this is not how the shop usually looks, which is a really fun time for your viewers actually to come here and visit because this is true behind the scenes. Like we've got our vacuum. We've got our cords. We've got, we are redoing everything. So all the girls are just waiting for their moment to be restyled and, and put out in, in their new display, which is out here in the front of the gallery, because this entire room is going to be turned into Tonnerfest 2000. Absolutely. <laughs> Tonnerfest. I hope there's a 2023, 2024, 2025. Let's Don't hope. miss a single year of it, right? Let's hope. So, <laughs> yeah, that's our vision for this entire room. We're going to be putting up artwork and doing all kinds of stuff. And, and just this entire room is just going to be exploding with, with Tonner. So I think it'll be really fun. I hope so. And I'm really excited for the pattern that you're going to be doing for Tonner Fest. Have you given any thought to what you think you might create? Well, being that I'm very excited about participating in the Club Grace subscription program again, I have that pattern in the forefront yes. of my mind. But now that I've just recently been uh, put into the preview about the Tonner Fest, I have to get my wheels turning yeah. to come up with what that's going to be. And maybe it's going to be a collaboration with the theme, or maybe it's going to be something completely unique and different. I love it. I love it.
All right, so we're gonna take a little walk down the hallway with Rachel and she's gonna show us the most beautiful display of vintage Madame Alexander dolls. Talk about costumes and talk about sewing. Nobody did this art quite like Madame Alexander. And it happens to be her 100th anniversary year, which is why it's so exciting to, to have these dolls and to have them out on display. We're gonna be talking about them throughout the year because Madame Alexander's um, a visionary and she just did incredible, incredible things with her pattern makers, with her designers and the amazing people that worked with her. So there, there is so much that goes into it. That's why it's so fun to have people that I work with, especially a pattern maker for our company that, that we work in <laughs> conjunction with Designs by Jude and Tamara Casey, who makes incredible patterns for us. And it is just so fun to see the work of people in the past, the work of people in the present, and, um, it, you know, it's just a blast. So right now we're in our little gallery area, which is, we love to show all kinds of wonderful things from childhood. As you come up and as you look in the cases, comment on the video if, if there's something that you had when you were younger or that is now a part of your collection. There's so many things that we just have here that I just think are um, beautiful representations of childhood and nostalgia. We have Shirley Temple, we have um, cartoon characters, just the white rabbit. I really wanted this case to just evoke lots of feelings of um, love and happiness and, and what it would be like to walk into a toy shop in the olden days of what an old toy shop would look like. We have some modern things and it's mostly vintage, antique, and all kinds of fun stuff. Do you remember when we did the video with Dusty, the Dusty doll, the world's, the world's most beautiful doll? That's how they marketed her as the world's most beautiful doll. I think doll. it's true. Yeah. I think they were right. Absolutely. <laughs> like Dusty Doll. You know, we have a little bit of everything and it's just so fun. So I hope that you enjoy taking a little peek in here. If you were here, we'd be hanging out looking at stuff. So And if you do come to Colorado and have an opportunity to meet Rachel in this beautiful store, make sure to make a reservation so you can come in and see all the treasures that yes. she's hiding inside. This is our antique case, which is one of my favorites in the entire shop. This is our inventory that's for sale. So all of these dolls are gonna be 100 years old or older. Some of them are from 1850. They're very, um, they're, they're just wonderful representations of antiques that I just love. I, I think they're all wonderful. I, I love all dolls, but these are just some of my favorites. And uh, most of them have all been worked on by Linda, who is our in-house um, doll, uh, repair person and she just does a wonderful wonderful job so most of them have been featured on our YouTube channel where we showed how we cleaned them or how we mended them and um, you know they're just all so sweet so come and take a peek <laughs> we have something from 1870 that is just that is still working and it's just it's amazing it's amazing my hair looks like that often me too, too. all the time <laughs> Can it's, you guys believe it? Don't tell Linda, but I think Rachel's gonna hire me to be her protege because this is in fact the table that Linda does all this, that beautiful restoration at. This is Linda's table and man, she has been busy. You can tell she's got a lot of products, uh, projects going. 
I promise, Linda, I didn't touch anything. But I did want to share this beautiful hand package. So sweet. <laughs> My mom, Sherry O'Brien, sent this with me from North Carolina to Linda and Rachel, and it contains all these antique laces that she happened to have in her collection, and she thought maybe they could use them here at the doll shop to do some restoration. So Very thoughtful. She, she is a big fan, just like I am, and I'm so thankful to be here with you guys and also to be sitting in Linda's chair. Don't yes. tell her. <laughs> we thought it might be fun to take all of Tamara's wonderful friends into our back back lot stu the back studio tour. What do they call it? The back the back lot tour at Universal, but for dolls. So come on in. This is our one of our two semi trailers that we have that is absolutely full of stuff. Who's behind you, Rachel? This is our wonderful Stanley. Stanley! He Stanley. is as awesome in person as he seems on video, I might just say. Yes, he is. <laughs> so let's switch spots because I have some questions. Now, Tamara, this fabric right here, actually, it's been sitting out here for a long time. We tried to make something out of it, but it was really hard to work with. What is your opinion of this kind of fabric? I also have quite a bit of this in my sewing stash, and I too have a hard time working with this. <laughs> Um, it's very challenging, but I do encourage you, if you're gonna work with sequins, to definitely look for micro sequins versus the larger ones. Uh, it tends not to get caught so much in the needle, and you do wanna put tissue or something under the uh, um, sewing machine foot in order to keep it from being pulled into the feed dogs. Is this considered micro sequins? Or? This is micro sequins. Okay. If you're gonna have success, I think it's gonna be this particular yeah. sequence. Well, that's Gorgeous. why the fabric is sitting out here because we tried Gorgeous. and it was like, no, thank you. Yes, I, I can understand why you thought that. <laughs> so what is your first thought as you come into this trailer? This looks really similar to my mom's trailer at her house where she has a lot of fabric and interesting antiques as well. Um, but I think yours is a little bit more interesting. She doesn't have these type of things. Your mom well, has hello. a full trailer? Hello, yes, wow. yes, she does, she does. Good um, for her. Who is this guy? Well, this is a little composition doll. He's dressed as a cowboy. I don't know his exact maker, but... I think he's quite lovely. And I did see Stanley pull up the Cabbage Patch doll. Um, I do want to say that my mom and dad did have a couple of the original Cabbage Patch dolls, which traveled with them. So you can understand where my insane craziness for dolls might have started. Have you made any patterns for Cabbage Patch um, dolls? No. The cabbage Are you patches, going to? I, I don't think so. <laughs> Unless there's a big demand. Please list that in the yeah, comment section uh, below. Pop off in the comments <laughs> if you want a Cabbage Patch doll pattern. What else? So, oh, all so all much fabric. Just so much. Fabric all the way. I mean... Stacked and under... <laughs> I think Rachel needs to learn how to sew, and maybe that can be part of her next virtual doll convention. That would be fun, a little sewer's convention. Absolutely. There's literally so much stuff, and then we're about to actually go fabric shopping at the thrift store for a, a, another video that we're going to be filming today, so we're very busy. But, um, you know, I just don't even know where to start. Maybe you'll have to come back and help me organize boxes all this today. I absolutely would love it. <laughs> Good job, Tamara. All right, we did it. We did it. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, we are back inside, but what a treat it has been to be on Tamara's channel and be showing all kinds of fun stuff, Tamara. Um, I hope to have more more um, off-roading content from you in the future. Thank you so much. You've really given me the courage to get my training wheels out yeah, and just man. give it a try. I love it. Thank you so much for being with me. All right, bye. See you.